Before we get started, make sure that you evacuate the AC system from any refrigerant inside of it. You're going to want to make sure that you recycle that. And then at the very end, you're going to have to come back over here and refill it. Okay, friends, it's time to get started on our job. Something that I want to mention is we will have to get underneath the front of the vehicle, so make sure you're in a safe place to be able to do that. After that, go ahead and raise your hood, and we're going to start removing this area across here. Looking at it, you're going to find several push clips that you have to remove along the way. Remove all of them, and then the plastic. It just comes apart, easy peasy. Now let's continue on to removing the grill. For this, you're going to find four push clips. You'll have two up along the top, one on each side. And then once you take these out, if you were to carefully pull this away, you can reach down in the center and there should be two more. There's that one. All right, once it's popped up enough, you should be able to slide the grill out of the way. Now with all that out of the way, the next thing we can do is make our way over to this point right here. You can see you have one of those refrigerant lines that goes right into the top of the condenser. There's going to be a 10 millimeter headed bolt that holds this together. Before I open the top one, generally I like to make my way to the bottom first. So with that said, let's get underneath the passenger side front of the vehicle. Now from underneath the passenger side of the vehicle, the area that we're going to have to access is right up along here. So we have to remove this lower panel. Looking at the panel, you're going to find several push clips. There's going to be some located along the back side, generally some in the middle, and then all the way along the front, there should be some as well. Not to mention, up inside the wheel well, you're going to find two more up against that side plate there. Go ahead and make sure you remove all of them from this side, pull it down and out of the way, and then we can remove that line. Inspect your hardware as you remove it. Now let's carefully separate the line from the AC condenser. Now that that's separated, let's get back up top. Let's make our way to that top line. Remove the 10 millimeter headed bolt. Now down along each side of the AC condenser, you're going to find that you have a 10 millimeter headed bolt. Let's remove that bolt from each side of the condenser. Now we can grab onto that bracket. We're going to lift it up and off of here. We'll just give it a quick inspection. Set it aside and do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Okay. Let's get that up and out of here. Grab that bushing. Slide that back in there. Now we can carefully start lifting this up, being very careful not to damage the radiator cooling fins in any way. There it is, friends. Now before we continue, let's make our way to the bottom of that radiator. We're going to go ahead and remove these rubber bushings. We'll give them a quick inspection. We'll set them both aside. Before we continue on putting in our brand new condenser, let's have a look at our air conditioning lines. On each line, you're going to find that it has a rubber O-ring. You're going to want to go ahead and take that off of there, give it a quick inspection, and typically you're going to want to replace it. Just carefully pull that off. I just like to make sure they're not damaged in any way. That one looks fine. Once you have the O-ring off of there, give the line a quick inspection, 
I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down, make sure there isn't any corrosion or dirt or debris in this area. Now the next thing I like to do is just take my brand new O-rings and I like to put them right inside some PAG oil. That's the specific air conditioning oil that you need to use whenever you're doing stuff like this. We can take this O-ring, we're going to slide it right into position on the line. Now let's do the same to the other line. Okay friends, now it's time to install our brand new AC condenser. Before we put it into the vehicle, let's go ahead and take those rubber mounts and we're going to slide them right onto the bottom ports on each of these areas. Now the next thing we're going to do is get ready to slide this in, but I wanted to show you right in front of that radiator, you're going to find a hole on the driver's side and the same thing over on the passenger side. Each one of these rubber bushings needs to fit directly inside while we put this down into position. Once again, we're being very careful not to damage the fins on the radiator or even the AC condenser. It's very important that these are not damaged. Now I can see down along the front, I have to move this over a little bit towards the driver's side. Okay, it just fell right into position on this side. I'm going to double check the other, press it down, lock it in. Now it's time to install our brackets. You have the top with the bushing. Down along the side, you're going to have the bolt hole. And then as you were to turn it, you can see it has a little hooky do. Everything needs to be in position, and then we'll start the bolt in and snug it up. This side is nice and snug. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Let's reconnect in our AC lines. I'm just going to line this up, press it in. It should go in fairly easily, assuming you added that PAG oil as lubricant. We'll start the bolt in there. Once it's started in by hand, go ahead and snug it right up. Okay, so right there feels as though it's bottomed out. We're just going to go ahead and tighten this a little bit more, keeping in mind that it is only aluminum that we're tightening into. Grab that line, make sure it's fully secured, and then go ahead and make your way underneath the passenger side front of the vehicle. Back underneath the front of the vehicle, let's just have a look and make sure we're completely situated. That looks perfect. After you're sure that looks good, make your way up to this line right here. Now to start putting this line in, typically you're just going to have to start the bolt in a little bit. Once the bolt starts going into the hole, we'll go ahead and line everything up and then fully tighten it. All right, that's bottomed out. I'm just going to go ahead and take it a little bit further here. Double check it to make sure it's completely secured. Clean your mess. Now we can go ahead and put up our splash shield. Looking at it, you can see that you have a whole bunch of areas coming across the front that need to fit up and underneath the bumper cover. So we're just going to go ahead and try to slide that into place. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. It's going to want to go in on one side. And once you start getting to the other side, you'll notice that it wants to pop out. Just be patient. You can do it. Get these push clips in here. Don't forget to put in the push pins and the wheel well. It's a good idea to have your push tabs in place. That way there we can take the grill and we can slide it right into position. Now once you have the lower aspect of the grill in there, go ahead and lock it down by pressing in the center. We're going to go ahead and slide it underneath the hood release handle. Get everything lined up, then we can start in our push clips.
Okay, friends, now that we got the car back together, it's very important to make sure you make your way back over here to these ports. You're going to want to make sure that you refill that refrigerant system. If you're unsure of what to use or how much you should put in it, there's going to be a sticker located right on the body of the vehicle.